My name is Andreas Sundin and I'm the principal clarinet of Royal Concert Gebau Orchestra. I'm from Sweden and I started my studies in Oslo in Norway and after that I got the principal clarinet job in Oslo Opera in Norway and then in Malmö Symphony Orchestra in Sweden and uh, finally I ended up in Concertgebouw in Amsterdam. When I first came to the Concertgebouw Hall in Amsterdam, I was amazed. Of course it's a very beautiful architecture, but the sound, the acoustic is amazing. When you play a concert and it's full with the audience, and it's even better. The acoustic really is, I would say, one of the best in the world. I've been around playing many different places, but for me, it's magic, it's fantastic. My instrument works really well in this hall. Yeah. A good instrument is an instrument that, of course, have no limits for me. For I, I normally call my instrument my voice. It should just be a tool for me, so I can express all the music I want. If I have an instrument that limits my way of making music, I'm not satisfied. And with my instruments, I feel that I can do whatever I want. And especially in this hall, in Concertgebouw, it's very demanding because you have to be extremely magical, soft, and then you have to be able to play very loud, um, and also play with different colors, uh, with different musicians, uh, and, uh, and in different parts, with different parts of the orchestra. Um, so it's a challenging hall, but it's such a quality hall, so then you also need a quality good instrument. I got my first Befekhanapom instrument when I was a very young student, and it's actually this one. Uh, it's still the same instrument, I changed some small things with the mechanic, but it is still a very good instrument. Some months ago I got the new C clarinet from Befekhanapom, that is great. I use it uh, when I play in orchestra, of course, but also chamber music like Schubert Octet. I have a basset clarinet that I had for some years, and this season I played a lot with it. And this instrument brings up the true music in the Mozart clarinet concerto for me. So for different music, I, I use different instruments. Um, but if you have it from the same family as Buffet Crampon, I always feel like home. With the basset clarinet, it's very important to have an instrument that, first of all, it has to be good quality in all register, but also it has to have the quality in the low register, the low singing register in the Mozart clarinet concerto. And with orchestra, it's very important that you also project, because this instrument is a little bit more intimate in the sound, it fits the Mozart clarinet concerto well, but in a big hall and in a modern way of playing in orchestra, you also need an instrument that projects very well. When I got my first Buffet Knappon instrument, I chose an instrument that I wanted to keep for a long time. For some years, I will have this instrument and I can develop my skills, I will get better in many basic things, I, I will be a better musician, and this instrument can follow me. And now, Many years later, I have the same instrument and it still works for me. Of course, I, I, I tried some different barrels from Buffet, but it's the same instrument that still helps me with making music. So for all kind of players who want to buy a new instrument, it's very important that you look beyond the point when you choose the instrument, that you will have this instrument for a long time. Uh, and during this time, you will change as a musician, you will get better uh, and, and want to try new things and, and uh, play differently. And this instrument will follow you and will help you making music. <laughs> 